for the next 20 minutes, I want to take you on a journey, a journey about Learning Ally and how we create stories of transformation for students, educators, and families all over the country. I want us to think about struggling readers and students with learning disabilities. Ask yourself this question. What are the problems you and your students face when students are not able to read grade level content? I'm sure you probably see students like this all the time in your classroom. Students that just give up, that are frustrated, that find it so hard to read content, whether it be decoding issues, phonemic awareness issues, fluency issues, or a myriad of other struggles. Whatever the reason, these students are feeling disengaged and hopeless in our classrooms. You're probably noticing students that have social emotional concerns and they don't feel equal to their peers when it comes to reading and learning. They're not included in classrooms because they haven't been able to read the content. They're starting to feel isolated and they start to doubt themselves. Many of these students around the country have this feeling of hopelessness and can't envision themselves as learners as they move into high school and beyond. As educators, we want to help them. We need to step in and give these students support. Let's understand what it's like to be a struggling reader. Read this passage. You've probably gotten through a couple of sentences by now. It's probably been a bit of a struggle. This is a passage that was read by Anthony, a Learning Ally student, when he was in ninth grade. His mom wrote down exactly what he read aloud. Anthony is severely dyslexic. If this is the way that Anthony gets through content on a daily basis, how frustrating and how demotivating would that be? Learning Ally provides an effective solution that gives educators and students like Anthony access to the tools they need in order to bridge them to grade level content. Let me introduce you to a student named Jack. Jack is a sixth grade student. Jack has undergone assessments and screening and he is exhibiting deficits in reading skill development. As you can see across the bottom, Jack is in sixth grade. Over on the left-hand side, you see that he's reading on a fourth grade level. All typical readers in the sixth grade are progressing really well with that straight line, that upward trajectory. But Jack, he's down there at that blue circle and he's progressing only because he's created some coping skills and some mechanisms to do the best that he can. What happens is a learning gap starts to form. Everyone else is at grade level or above grade level, and Jack's still down here reading at a fourth grade level, which separates him further and further from the material that he needs in order to keep pace in the classroom. We need to do something to close that gap, to bring Jack up to the content, rather than bringing the content down to Jack. It's easy to think that Jack's cognitive ability might be low according to his assessment, but what we find with most struggling readers is that their cognitive ability is on grade level or above grade level. They just need content in a way that works for them. There's a problem across the country, and this problem is that we have at least 20% of students in our classrooms like Jack and Anthony. Human Read Audiobooks from Learning Ally can bridge this learning gap. And that's where an army of learning ally volunteers step in to bring content with a human voice to the ears and minds of struggling readers and students with learning disabilities. I want you to meet Elizabeth. She's one of those volunteers. Volunteers like her around the country are reading books for our students. Learning Ally partners with the volunteers in the Screen Actors Guild to lend their dynamic voices to our literature titles. Subject matter experts with knowledge and content areas read our textbooks. These voices come into your classroom through the Learning Ally Reading app and bridge students to content that they need to read and want to read. 
let's look at some of the benefits of human read audiobooks. Some of the immediate benefits are from these voices. They model oral reading fluency. They also bring rich prosody that's so essential to convey meaning. On the left hand side of the screen, you'll see an example of an audiobook that has words. Students are immersed in a multi sensory experience where they hear the human voice and can track and follow along, reinforcing those words. When a student hears and sees the words at the very same time, they can focus on comprehension rather than expending mental energy on decoding text. Once a student can begin to focus, then they can begin to visualize the story, make those movies in their mind. When a student visualizes, they are six times more likely to retain that information. The benefits of human-read audiobooks are invaluable. Let's discover the books that are in the Learning Ally Library. Learning Ally has an expansive collection of rich literature titles that every student needs to be exposed to, whether it be through pleasure reading or through assigned reading. Consider the book Wonder and the main concept of kindness. Such a simple thing, kindness. Struggling readers may never be exposed to a book like Wonder. However, when they read with human read audiobooks, they can start to empathize with the protagonist in these stories. Do you remember the first time that you heard or read The Outsiders and you heard those words, stay gold, pony boy, stay gold. These are the books that Learning Ally can bring to life because of our volunteers. When this is an assigned title in a middle school class, Students come in knowing the story and can feel confident. They become very proud of the fact that they engage in the conversation and discourse that is happening in the classroom around this book. We know that in most high schools that To Kill a Mockingbird is an assigned title in many English language arts classes. Think about the complexity, the richness, the robustness of the content and the material in To Kill a Mockingbird a classic. When Atticus Finch tells Scout, you never really understand a person until you consider things from his point of view. Students are being exposed to content that may have been out of their reach previously. Learning Ally brings literature to life with our army of volunteer voices. In addition, we also have textbooks textbooks that bring content knowledge to the students. Notice on the right-hand side, a look into a textbook. You don't see the words on the page, but that's because you interact with textbooks completely differently than if you interacted with a novel. Students are probably working on a worksheet or answering questions. Students are most likely sitting at a desk with a paper and pen, and they have the hardback textbook in front of them. Students still have that multi-sensory experience going on with pairing the human read audiobook with the hardback textbook. Let's take a look at the Learning Ally reading app. We're going to look at the app through Jack's bookshelf. Remember that Jack is a sixth grader reading on a fourth grade level. His teacher has assigned him books that he needs to read like Dragon Wings, Bud Not Buddy, and his math textbook. However, he also has books that he wants to read like Diary of a Wimpy Kid and books by Kwame Alexander that he added himself. Let's experience a book, Bud Not Buddy. Buddy. Chapter One. Here we go again. We were all standing in line waiting for breakfast when one of the caseworkers came in and tap, tap, tap down the line. Uh oh. This meant bad news. Either they'd found a foster home for somebody or somebody was about to get paddled. 
All the kids watched the woman as she moved along the line, her high-heeled shoes sounding like little firecrackers going off on the wooden floor. As you can see, the yellow highlighted tracking followed right along with the human voice. Since this is an assigned title, the teacher is probably given some type of an assignment. If the unit of study is on figurative language, and students are expected to find examples and cite the evidence of figurative language within their reading, the student can place a bookmark and write a note. Struggling readers are struggling writers, and this note-taking tool works with voiceover options within your device. Students can speak their thoughts right into the notes. She stopped at me and said, are you Buddy Caldwell? Students can review the notes, bookmarks, or vocabulary list they've created by clicking on the navigation pane at the bottom. Students can share multiple notes at once by saving them as a file on their computer or by sending them in an email to their teacher or to themselves. All of these tools make for comprehensive learning experiences for our students. Other learning experiences include the ability to increase the speed of the reader according to a student's own pacing and style of what works for them as a learner. A high school student may want to speed the reader out more quickly, whereas an elementary student may want to slow the reader down so they can track and follow along more easily. Other navigation options within the app help students move about the book in a very quick and easy manner. They can navigate directly to a section or page within the book. Let's go to page 34. When the water was good and hot, I stuck the jelly jar underneath until it was filled to the brim. I'm going to stop right there because I've come across the word brim and I'm not sure what that means. Let's double click on the word to get a definition. When the water was, when. I can highlight that word and it will be added to my vocabulary list so that you can see that this experience becomes a complete learning tool. Not just a reading app, but a learning tool. We know many students like to customize and personalize app experiences according to their own taste and their own learning. For young readers that are still working on decoding skills, you can increase the spacing between the words themselves so they can focus on the graphing. Older students might like to see more words on the page with some of the sizing options. Let's continue and think about other students, other students that are in our schools, in our hallways, in our classrooms that qualify for Learning Ally. The students that can receive access to Learning Ally are those students that qualify with a reading accommodation. Think about where those students are in your school or district. Those students are sitting in your general education classroom. These are the students that are receiving 504 services or other reading accommodations within your tiered system of support. Sometimes these students can go unnoticed because we just assume that they'll catch on eventually. These students need access to Learning Ally. Students with specific learning disabilities like Victoria also qualify for Learning Ally. These students usually have an IEP or have been diagnosed with a learning disability. Other qualifying categories include physical disability. These students, like Gabby, have a physical disability that prohibits them from accessing standard print. Students that are blind or visually impaired, like Cooper, can also qualify for Learning Ally. 
All of these students need access to grade level content for various reasons. And it's our duty as educators to provide them a rich learning experience in order to build on their social, emotional, and academic learning. When you get access to Learning Ally, you're getting unlimited access to 80,000 human read audiobooks. You're getting unlimited access to the Learning Ally reading app that can be downloaded as many places as you need on Apple and Android devices, Chromebooks, PC, and Macs. What's most important is the 24-7 access for our students. Learning Ally isn't just a tool for use at school. It's something students can take with them and read in the car, on the bus, or wherever they need it. Learning Ally understands that reading can be hard for students when it doesn't come easy. That's why we provide encouragement to our district, schools, educators, and students. One program that we offer is called 33andMe, a student goal setting program. We encourage building reading habits. Based on an extensive review of reading data with Learning Ally audiobooks nationwide, 33 days of reading at 20 minutes per day for a student consistently skyrockets them into higher levels of reading achievement. This creates the tipping point at which you will start to see improved social, emotional, and academic outcomes. In January, we kick off the Great Reading Games. The Great Reading Games is all about creating a reading revolution in classrooms by reading more. Students and schools compete nationwide and see progress on leaderboards that create excitement and engagement. Learning Ally students oftentimes aren't able to participate in reading games and contests at their school. Now with the Great Reading Games, they are reading and succeeding. In the spring, we want to plug into what teachers are already doing in their classrooms across the country. We offer ideas around strategies you're already using, like March Book Madness or Poem in Your Pocket. We don't want students to fall behind in the summer and suffer from the summer slide. We want students to be able to continue their reading, their learning, their growing over the course of the summer. And summer reading together is a great way to do that. There's something for educators as well when you join the Learning Ally family. Educators are a crucial and key component in supporting access to grade level content. We offer customized launch plans that walk teachers through the explicit steps needed to make sure that Learning Ally is used with fidelity in all of our classrooms. Learning Ally honors and recognizes educators that exemplify excellent teaching with awards, recognition, and professional learning opportunities. The most important thing is that Learning Ally offers educators the pure joy of seeing their students succeed. Educators need data in order to make effective decisions about student outcomes. The Learning Ally Educator Portal shows reading progress data on how many students are reading how many students are getting started in their journey towards creating habit, and how many are reading with frequency. Educators can export this data to help guide instruction and personalize learning for their students. You may be thinking to yourself, but how do I fit Learning Ally in with all of the other programs and things I'm doing? And I've got to teach my kids to read. At Learning Ally, we understand that we should never replace explicit instruction in reading. Your students need that. However, as students get older, they need to be given access to grade level content to keep pace with their work while receiving additional instruction. The story of transformation is real when students gain access to the Learning Ally solution. Students that previously just sat in their chairs are now engaged in class. They're collaborating with one another. Their peer interactions start to improve. Social, emotional learning starts to improve as well. You have students completing homework. You have students that come in the classroom prepared and excited and engaged in learning. 
What I love about this story of transformation is that students that are struggling readers or are diagnosed with a learning disability are given the time and capacity to start to build on other strengths and participate in extracurricular activities because they are keeping their grades up. Students that would normally spend hours trying to get through content can now unleash their potential in all of these areas. Let's close with a question. If you implement the Learning Ally solution, will you be able to solve some of the issues that we discussed at the beginning? The issues we discussed that students were disengaged in class, frustrated, hopeless. I would say that you would because we've seen it over and over. In fact, educators, students, and parents all over the country say, Learning Ally changed my life. Learning Ally is truly a story of transformation. Contact us today to learn more about bringing Learning Ally to your school at 1-800-221-1098 or email programs at learningally.org or visit us on our website at learningally.org. We want to partner with you to make transformational change in your school and in your district.